Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my movie review series. So, I wasn't going to review this movie initially, but since I decided to review the first Silent Hill movie, I, I figured why not just review the second one. I mean, somebody brought up in the comment section um, about the second movie, and I thought, you know what, I'll just give it a review since I've seen it. Now, um, right off the bat, the first Silent Hill movie, the one from 2006, which I reviewed already, I don't actually mind that movie, I actually think as a horror movie, it's a little bit underrated, and as far as video game adaptations go, uh, that one in my personal opinion is actually one of the better video game adaptations, because usually uh, video games don't usually adapt well to the big screen, and I pretty much covered that in my review for the first one, and uh, why in my personal opinion that one sort of broke the trend of bad video game movies. This movie, on the other hand, from 2012, which is a direct sequel, this movie fucking sucks. Um, <laughs> Silent Hill Revelation from 2012 is an embarrassment. Um, this is one of the worst horror movies I've ever seen. Uh, it's one of the worst video game adaptations I've ever seen. And believe me, that is saying something. This movie is a failure of epic proportions. This is a terrible, terrible movie. Now, as far as the plot of this movie goes, I mentioned how it's a direct sequel to the first movie. It's also a loose adaptation of the events of Silent Hill 3, the video game. Now, for those of you who haven't played Silent Hill 3, um, that one, in my personal opinion, was never the most interesting in terms of its plot and its writing. Uh, basically, you play as a character called Heather, who um, at the beginning of the game is being stalked by uh, this cult and uh, basically your father is murdered and you have to return to Silent Hill to exact revenge and uh, to be used as a vessel to birth uh, some new entity into the world and it's a very very cult-like and very creepy story and um, I always felt that that would be a little bit weird to try and adapt that into a into a movie. Like, I really don't understand why out of all the different Silent Hill games and all the different uh, plots and storylines they could have gone for. I don't know why they decided to try and adapt that one into a movie. I really didn't think that was a very good idea and it shows. Now there are some there are some major changes like for example in the in the game uh, the main character's father is murdered um, whereas in the in, in, in the movie the father gets kidnapped and taken to Silent Hill so rather than it being kind of a revenge mission it's more of a rescue mission if you know what I mean and there are a few differences to like um, one of the characters from the game who was a private detective who is one of sort of the main characters who sort of nudges you along in the plot in the movie that character is killed off immediately so <laughs> that character is insignificant to the events of the movie so I'm, I'm not quite sure why they even included him uh, that was a bit weird there it felt like a bit of a an attempt at a bait and switch that didn't really work um, one, one of the main characters in this movie who um, is given a lot of screen time is a character played by Kit Harrington now Kit Harrington I don't know much about him I know he was in that uh, that show Game of Thrones I've never watched Game of Thrones before I'm not really interested in it, but yeah, uh, he, he's in this as one of the main characters, and he's given most of the screen time, and his acting performance was fl flipping atrocious. He basically plays a love interest for the main girl, and um, the main girl, she's basically the girl from the first movie, however, she's grown up now, and it's a different actor, and um, her father played by Sean Bean. Now, one of the reasons I was intrigued to watch this movie when it came out, and why I ultimately did end up seeing it, is because I was really interested to see what they did with Sean Bean's character because in the first movie Sean Bean was there and um, I really liked his character I thought it was really well acted but he wasn't really given much to do so I was expecting that Sean Bean this time would be the main character or at least he would be given more screen time and more of a predominant role in the story unfortunately Sean Bean is given even less to do in this movie, and he's given even less screen time than what he had in the first movie. So that was really, really disappointing. I mean, why would you bring back Sean Bean, you know, this legendary actor, and then delegate him to being just a bit part in a movie like this? You know, especially when he was one of the only ones that you brought back from the previous movie. So 
yeah, that was really disappointing. There are some things that were added for the sake of, um, you know, just for the sake of fan service. Like, they brought back Pyramid Head. He was in the first movie. And, um, yeah, Pyramid Head in the video game had kind of a deep and enigmatic backstory. And he didn't actually make an appearance in Silent Hill 3. So I'm not quite sure why they decided to shoehorn him into this story. Um, like I said, it, it felt to me like it was just pointless fan service. And um, it didn't really work out because n none of the fans of Silent Hill seem to like this movie. I agree, this movie sucks. And um, another thing, another reason that this movie basically fails is it's essentially a bad horror movie. Okay, it has all the terrible horror movie tropes. There's a jump scare in every other scene. You know, there's lots of like gross out shit that the first movie didn't really have. And just a lot of the modern day uh, tropes that we've come to expect from crappy, um, you know, just cheap horror movies, you know, filled with cheap jump scares, you know, shitty dialogue, characters that you don't give a crap about, and it's just boring. This is a really bad movie, and I've really got nothing else to say about it. And I gotta say, man, it makes the first movie look like a masterpiece. You know, the first movie had good CGI, good special effects. Um, the special effects this time are awful, and um, I, I gotta be honest man, this is just a really really poorly made movie, it looks very cheap, um, you can definitely tell that there was a big budget cut, a much lower budget than the first movie, and um, I haven't looked that up to see if that's true by the way, I, I can just tell um, just from watching the movie it had a lower budget, because the CGI looks garbage, the sets look like garbage, and it's just a really bad movie, and it's not at all scary either, so it fails as a horror movie, so... Yeah, this is just a quick review. I've really got nothing else to say about Silent Hill 2 or, or Silent Hill Revelation, as it's called. Yeah, this this is the worst out of the two Silent Hill movies. And if you want to watch one of these movies, just watch the first one. Don't even bother with this. It's complete garbage. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think anyway. Uh, I give this movie a 1 out of 10. I think this movie sucks. I really think it's that bad. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Stay tuned for more movie reviews. Thanks for watching. God bless.